In one of my videos, I talk about sachet inverter. And by now, I know a lot of people would have run to the market to get this inverter or are planning to buy this inverter. Before you buy this inverter or if you have this inverter already, listen to few advantages and disadvantages of this inverter. Number one advantage of this inverter is that it's very, very cheap, very affordable. Two, easily or readily available. Three, it's not battery selective. It can work with any battery as long as it's either 12 volt, 24 volt or 48 volt, it can work with it. Number four, this inverter is very, very easy to be installed. You don't need a professional to get this inverter installed for you because it's more like a plug and play stuff. You can just walk into any solar shop, get this inverter, plug it to your battery, plug your extension box and boom, you have light in your house. Number five is that this inverter is very, very easy to be repaired. Yes, because the parts are readily available. Unlike other inverters that uses, you know, special MOSFETs or special transistors or maybe special diode, this such inverter are mostly not like that. The parts are, you know, mostly available just like, you know, the parts in your television or uh, your sound system, very or readily available. So what are the disadvantages of this inverter? You know, the inverter just have few disadvantages. One of the disadvantages of this very sachet inverter is that most of these inverters produces uh, modified sine wave outputs. And this modified sine wave are not suitable for most home gadgets. For people that have been using this inverter for long, you would have noticed what I'll be saying now. It always causes distortion or causes human sound in your electronics. If you are passing nearby your socket or your switch, you'll be hearing or you'll be hearing sparkling sound. It's because the output is not pure sine wave. So the rate at which you know the output frequency changes is not that fast so your electronics notices these glitches and that affects your electronics so it's mostly not suitable for your fan for you know your gadget that have compressor so if you are planning to get this inverter for you know your fan or for your freezer or your deep freezer i will advise you not to get it it's not suitable for them so the last disadvantage of this very inverter is that it has a very poor lvd that is low voltage disconnect so if you're not going to sit down there and look after your inverter, this inverter is capable of draining your battery out completely. And if you keep doing that, your battery is actually not healthy for your battery because this inverter is capable of draining out your battery up to 95% or even 98%, leaving 2% in your battery. And if you mostly discharge your battery to that rate, which is like 95 or 98%, your battery will short live. So the disadvantages of this inverter is that it produces modify sine wave output which is not suitable for most of your gadget two is that it has a very poor lvd which will affect your battery lifespan and your battery short live so before you get this inverter know that these are the things attributed to this very inverter